And uh, the terms that we are neglecting that it's kind of referring to here is the, the reflected term. When you look at the textbooks uh, treatment of quantum tunneling, which you actually will have to look at to answer this question, it, it'll, um, you can see what I mean by reflect the term. It's going to look like... Oh. So when you see the textbook set up the equation in this barrier region here, it sets up the equation so that you have solutions. I in region two, where is my region two? Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> that's the region two solution. And in the region two solution, so we have been using only this term, you know, the term that does not blow up when x goes to infinity. And when you have the finite barrier region, you cannot simply get rid of this. You have to include that, and that's what I'm referring to as reflected wave. It kind of looks like that, but anyways. So including both of these terms um, changes the tunneling probability. And there's actually uh, something like resonant. Uh, uh, so tunneling probability, it's not a monotonic function of uh, something that decreases as a function of the thickness. At certain thicknesses, there can be a resonant amplification of the tunneling probability. So in any case, uh, so you know, you can follow all the textbook derivation and for the purpose of this question, really, all that you need to use is this equation here. Uh, I think E over U0 is simple enough. You are given E and U0. And you need to track down what this, how this beta is defined. That beta was defined in terms of that. Um, yeah, so take the square root of that. Um, and and then you can solve for it. Um, you know, I, I guess, it, okay, I think it's worth doing. So let me do that. Oh, sorry. My eyes are kind of glazing over, but I think it's uh, um, worth doing. So let me do that. So for this question, I do expect you to refer to the textbooks answer. Because uh, I don't, I definitely don't expect you to reproduce all this calculation. Because it, um, it uh, the reason we didn't cover it in lecture was redriving this would have taken uh, a whole day, whole hour, or some uh, amount of time that we don't really have. So for the purpose of answering this homework question, you will need this equation, that's one, and you need the one that defines what beta is. That's not something that I would have memorized. So you need a definition of beta. And I think once you have that, then you have everything you need to um, you need to solve for um, for what they are asking for. They are asking for the thickness of the barrier, which would uh, um, which would uh, match the tunneling probability. That's t uh, l over e. So uh, let me just double check that, and we'll do that. Um, L over E, this is the uh, tunneling probability. Um, yeah, and I think we can use this one. 2.5% uh, is low enough that this approximation is probably valid. But you know, if it had a higher tunneling probability, you would want to use this. So looking at the expression here, my goal is to solve. So beta is a parameter that I can actually get numerical value of. So my goal is to, uh, given, given this t, my goal is to solve for this l here. So let me just uh, put everything together. Um, so e to the minus 2 beta l is equal to everything on one side, um, t divided by 16 e over u naught 1 minus e over u naught. Okay, now I can take the natural log of both sides. Doing that gets me minus 2 beta l on the left hand side and the natural log of that big thing on the right hand side. So solving that for l gets me um, minus 1 over 
2 베타 times natural log of t over 16 e over u naught 1 minus e over u naught and uh, beta is let me put in the expression for beta then um, it's 1 over 2 times the natural log of 1 over beta which should be um, h h squared square root it so h divided by square root of 2m u naught minus e okay i think i have that's something i can just plug in numbers too so let's do that um so plug in the numbers here it's gonna be minus one over two times natural log of a t is 2.5 percent or that should be 0 0.025 divided by 16 times the instant energy um i'm just gonna write it as a 12 divided by 15.5 because the electron volt units will cancel out um, times 1 minus again 12 divided by 15.5 because electron volt units will cancel out okay that's the whole thing under the natural log times and now i need a Planck constant h bar divided by square root of 2 times electron mass times and here i do need to plug in the unit 15.5 eb minus 12 eb okay okay that's everything all right let's see what we get um yeah everything is understood correctly and we get uh, something in the unit of length 2.461 times 10 to the minus 10 meters or this should be a zero 0 0.246 nanometers yeah um so you know it's a complicated formula and um again it's not something that i would uh, expect you to read right